Hey guys, I'm Jessie Sousa. I am a career and leadership coach and welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who have been here before, I tend to just kind of dive right into certain topics, tell a quick story, um, yeah, and share my thoughts on whatever the topic of the day is. Um, please bear with me if you can hear a four-wheeler outside. My husband is clearing the snow. Nothing I can do about that today. So. I wanted to share that, you know, it seems like more and more people are picking a word or something to like represent what they want to like anchor into or um, hold on to or focus more on for the year. And I decided I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna jump on that train. So for this year, I ended up choosing two words and I'll explain why. So oh my God, the four-wheeler is so loud. Anywho. Okay. Uh, the two words that I chose for this year were focus and centered. And I'll fill you in on a little bit about why those are important to me. So focus is really flipping hard for me. I often will dive into something. I can focus on it for a few minutes. But if anything like derails me or throws me off, I'm, I'm gone, you've lost me. I don't know if it's necessarily a form of ADHD. I've never been formally diagnosed. So I don't know and I can't 100% say, though I will be looking into it because I find it's a recurring theme in my life and I'm in my 30s now and anywho, see this conversation, lack of focus, anywho. So, what I've found, especially over the last year or two, is that I tend to get really excited about something, want to jump right in, get really like focused on it, the dreaming part of it, or like the, you know, the ideas, brainstorming part of it. I love that. I'm super excited. I'm all about the ideas. I can talk to you about them till I'm blue in the face, but the actual execution and the action part of it takes a lot of motivation or a lot of internal struggle with me to actually get the ball going. And I find that if anything kind of makes me feel either overwhelmed or uh, ill-prepared or anything like that, my focus is gone. I'm on to something else. And with my business, so I, like I said, shared in my first video, I joined um, a certification program for a year to become a certified coach and to be able to apply for my accreditation with the International Coaching Federation. And that company is called the Mind Rebel Academy. And with the Mind Rebel Academy, it's a really like highly focused, super creative, special space for people to connect and learn how to be um, a world-class coach essentially. So I found that if I, you know, I would put my son down for a nap and I was like, okay, I have about two hours of free time to focus on, you know, my coaching business or my coaching course at the time. And what I found was that if there was something that was distracting me or something that was making me feel overwhelmed about it, I would completely change my focus. I would end up doing something that felt easy and stress-free and something I was really familiar with. So for example, um, housework. So instead of sitting down and like figuring out how to, you know, prepare my website or figuring out how to um, set up a calendar system so people can book their own discovery calls or whatnot, I would be like, well, it's much easier for me to just do the dishes. I know how to do that. It'll help the house, it'll help my family. Um, whereas if I sit down and focus on my business or building a website or doing any of those things, it felt very selfish. I felt very all about me and it was easier for me to do something I already knew how to do that was gonna benefit my family. All that to say, um, if I truly kind of like anchored into who I want to be, what kind of a life do I want to have and what kind of a life do I wish for my family, I would have always been pulled back into focusing on what matters most and what's going to turn um, or I guess move the needle, so to speak, with my business. And that is because, you know, I was thinking in a little bit of like a short-sighted 
approach. A clean house is gonna make me feel good and make my family feel good today, right now. Whereas a slow, organically growing business is eventually going to make my family have a far better life than we could have ever imagined because it's gonna provide flexibility. It's gonna make you know, my, my work life align with my personal life more. It's gonna allow me for more time with my children because it's a different lifestyle and a different kind of work that can be done at a flexible pace. All that to say is that I chose the words focused and centered so that I can continuously remind myself to prioritize and focus on what is going to bring me closer and closer to who I authentically am every single day so that the version of myself that I want to be and the version of who I am today are eventually one little package. So I think it's pretty easy and straightforward to understand why focus is so important to me going into this next calendar year, having started my own business, um, being able to truly sit down and focus on what's important, focus on what's going to allow me to be more me at the end of the day is going to allow me for more freedom in my, in my life and with my family and get the idea or the dream, dream life, so to speak, that I have for myself and for my family closer to where it needs to be or where I want it to be. Um, the other word that I have chosen for 2023 being centered, um, is something that I had a hard time finding the right word for. Um, I find that I'm very easily overwhelmed or um, like stressed out by things. And I kept thinking, okay, maybe my word should be calm. Maybe my word should be at peace or at ease. And then I was like, you know what? No. Centered to me means that I am in a place where I am confident enough that I don't get overwhelmed and where I don't feel like things are out of control or out of alignment. So to me, being centered means being connected with things that are allowing me to feel the way I want to feel. And part of that is I often feel overwhelmed and I just don't want to because every time I'm in that time in my life where I feel like incredible overwhelm or that moment where I feel super overwhelmed. Once I'm removed from that situation and I take a step back, I realize I'm not, it's not actually that overwhelming. Like I need to just chill the heck out and not worry about it. So one thing that I heard that I thought was really, really funny and interesting um, was by uh, something that was said by Marie Forleo. She's really incredible. And uh, she mentioned that by saying this to herself out loud, it started to become true. So she would just say to herself, I don't do overwhelm. And by saying, I don't do overwhelm, she just didn't. She, she eventually over time was just like, no, like I, I don't get overwhelmed. What's the, what's the point? I just, I don't, I don't do it. It's not for me. So what I'm going to try and focus on and, and get into the spirit of is saying the same thing. I don't do overwhelm or on the flip side, I am calm. I am centered. I am who I want to be. I am who I need to be. And that sounds super cheesy. I get it. Okay. Like it's, this is a little woo woo for me, but at the end of the day, in reality, these things are said because they work. So as a good example, because again, this can feel a little woo woo for people, I'm going to use someone who's very public facing and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is obviously the, one of the best soccer players on the planet. Um, I am not super into soccer, but being that my husband and his whole family are Portuguese, they love Cristiano. They love his vibe. Everybody loves him. But in the, something that's really interesting that I've noticed in his behavior and I'm sure everybody has, is that he tells himself he is the best soccer player in the world. He behaves like the best soccer player in the world. Everything he does and everything he says attributes to the fact that he views himself as the best soccer player in the world. So when he first started, 
he likely wasn't the best soccer player in the world, but he told himself that he was until he became the best soccer player in the world. So again, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, I am the best coach in the world. No, I'm not. And I also, that's not really what I'm authentically trying to align myself to be. I, I wanna be a good coach. I wanna be someone that people connect with and you know, that I'm able to hold space with and whatnot and for, but what I do want is to become more authentically myself every single day and be aligned with the person that I'm truly meant to be. So all that to say, I am centered is something that I'm going to say to myself. I am calm is something that I'm going to say to myself and I don't do overwhelm is something I'm going to say to myself until it is a hundred percent true every single day. And again, I know that sounds like a whole lot of, I don't know, fairy dust, magic dust, woo woo nonsense, but it's true. It works and I'm going to do it. So if you want to try it with me, I invite you to. <laughs> um, and one thing that I really want to leave with everyone today is a question and it's, when you anchor into your passion or what truly makes you you, what becomes possible for your life? And if, if you feel inclined to answer, post it in the comments below. If you like videos like th this or you feel connected to me, feel free to subscribe and like this video. And as always, if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments. I'm open to any and all uh, constructive criticism and I'm just here to hopefully serve you guys and connect with you on a deeper level. So all the more comments, the better. Anyway, have a wonderful day, everybody, and we'll chat soon.